Good sir. Season's Hello, greetings. Great. Happy Christmas. Uh, Happy Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, lovely. Merry Christmas. Lovely. Good, Good to see you. Oh, you Good shouldn't have. I mean, I've, oh. got, I've got you a little yeah, thing. Get you something as well. You know I mean, the obvious one. It's, it's, it's such a special season, isn't it? I mean, I'm just thinking of you as a boy in the Austrian Tyrol. Do you want us to make it a bit more Christmassy? We can add some snow. Yeah. Maybe some music. <laughs> I, I don't know. You get the ski house, but uh, you know, here in England, I, I don't think that works. So, okay. and I, yeah. well, I'm we'll happy see. like this. Hey, we'll, you know, you've got the English weather: rain, cold, wind. Yeah. You got it all. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to do yeah, my yeah, best yeah, to try yeah. and make it special yeah. for you. Right. Let's go. In. We mentioned there, you as a boy, Christmas, what it meant to you, what it was like up in the mountains in the Tyrol. Tyrol. Oh, sorry, yes, yes, yes. Tyrol. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean. You know, when, when you're a boy, you always look forward to Christmas. And uh, my, my, my parents at the butcher shop, and obviously they had to work hard. They, they worked hard on Christmas Eve, you know, because... Big time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, 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 so uh, we always helped out. And then uh, we just, uh, uh, we are having uh, the, the gift giving is on the 24th in the evening, you know. Uh, uh, yes. It's coming, you know, it's, uh, everybody goes in there and then on the 25th, normally at lunchtime, you go and see family. We always went to to my uh, to my grandmother uh, into the valley, you know, to have lunch there. And it's like, it, it's, I think it's a, a Christmas is for most of the people. It's good memories as a kid, you know, because then you went, uh, as you said, uh, you had snow because uh, where my mum comes from is higher up. There was always snow. We should probably get rid of this snow now. I think we're indoors. We'll get rid of it. The yeah, music's exactly. a bit rubbish as well, yeah, so yeah. we'll get rid of that. Well, listen, I hope you, whatever's going on in the factory is the kind of it's giving gifts delivery off. something yeah, yeah, for yeah, the new year. Gifts, but listen, yeah. let's, let's, let's pull the crack out. Let's see. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> That was a bit dramatic. Yeah. I don't know what you got. I, I'm, I'm, I ain't got anything. That's normally, right. you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got the gift. I got the whatever. I, I wear the hat. How do you size things up going into the new season? Uh, very difficult to say. I mean, uh, with the budget cap now in place, everything is possible. And I, I, I think you said Alpha Town, the end yeah. of the season, McLaren, beginning of the season. They didn't start strong. They came. They, they, they at some stage, they were the second fastest car out there, you know, more than once. So uh, everything is possible. The big teams are always the big teams for the next three to five years. They will be always in the forefront, but the midfield can, I don't think there is uh, top teams, midfield and back markers anymore, there is top teams and the rest, in my opinion now, because everybody is in a good place financially, as a business, technically, so, and then, yeah. we ended up last this year, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, we could end up very, very much in the, uh, in the top midfield next year. Onwards and upwards. Yeah. Well, listen, the one, one thing, you will get a break, but the news agenda in F1 does not stop. So this little set two between the FIA and, and, and F1 and Susie Wolf and, and, and Toto Wolf. And here come all fantastic. Whoa, that's fantastic. That looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's enough? No, I, think, <laughs> I, I think we can share one of them, you know. Well, this, thank you so no, much. Thank you very much. Sensational. Thank you very thank much. You. We're going to get stuck into this, but let's get stuck into this controversy, Gunter. Thanks, Scott. I didn't want to eat. Huh? I mean, you put you put a statement out with all the other teams uh, saying we, we don't have a problem with, with Susie Wolf and all of that. Will peace break out between... The FIA and F1, Does that, can that be sorted out? I think it is very important for the sport that we find a solution. And uh, uh, I think the solution, I mean, uh, 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 as we saw, the teams are up aligned with what we want. Because Formula One is in a very good place in the moment as, as a business, as a sport, uh, uh, as an audience. They are very good. We don't need any uh, distraction from that. Mm. So it's more like between uh, FIA and FOM to sort it out. And then, uh, you know, what came out is yeah. it was like, we made a statement because it is the truth, you know. I mean, we, we didn't have a problem with what was said. I mean, if you take everything which we say and things. Yeah, is there a difference between a moan and a complaint? Exactly, Everybody moans. Exactly. Everybody probably moans. I mean, Except me. And I don't no, moan, no, yeah. no, no, no. I don't want to get you in trouble yeah, with the FIA. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> leave me out of that. Now, now with a penalty of a million, you know. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. to be the first one there, you know. <laughs> and, and on the, the F1 Academy front, it. it, it pairs up with Formula One this year. Do you think it will expedite the process of, of, of getting a woman into either into F1 or, or in a position where, where they can realistically think about joining the series? Absolutely, and it's a beginning. We cannot now think about one or two years. We need to think further, but first we need to make this happen. But the first steps are always the most difficult ones, as we all know, so we need to be realistic. I mean, I hope it will happen, but it's very difficult because yeah. you've got 
thousands of boys which are training since they are six, seven years old to get into Formula One and with the, uh, with, with, with the girls we just started. So we need to be realistic, but it's a very good starting point. One other, uh, I suppose, political thing, I just want to get out of the way at the end of the year. This whole issue of the 11th team, GM and Cadillac will produce an engine. Does it change the perspective on that? Does it soften the view of, of, of some of the teams or is there still anxiety about what it does to the financial situation across the board? I, I think having a GM in uh, as a player, it is fantastic. You know, I don't know the exact details, uh, what else is going on. And I continue to say that with Andretti, I haven't heard actually now for weeks, if not months already, uh, about what, what are the next steps, where they are with, because uh, it's... I. I or we don't have a vote in it. We have got an opinion again, as we said before, but we don't have a vote. So You've got a plan if an 11th team does come in financially. For yeah, what we get less money. Yeah, that's yeah. the plan. Yeah, which no, is well, I mean, that you need to know. A exactly. That. We need to know yeah. uh, in the moment. It is yeah. like we get less money, and that is nobody wants to get less money. Uh, 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 so uh, uh, we haven't been proposed anything, or, or we know what is on the table in the moment under the regulation, but nothing more. So, uh, I mean... I'm just waiting the next move of FOM. We haven't heard anything and they are dealing with it. So I, I need to trust FOM that, uh, uh, that they move it forward or move it backwards, whatever they are doing. But yeah. as I said, we don't have a vote. So I, I, I've actually not thought yeah. about a lot of it until uh, uh, since last time you asked me. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, I do keep asking you. Um, let's talk drivers and, the, and a bit more of the fun stuff. No changes on the grid. I think that's the first same 20 lineup next year has finished uh, last year but I think 15 drivers out of contract at the end of this year so we're going to get a lot of jockeying for position potentially is that it might there be options out there and, and what, what's your thinking I mean, you you've got quite a settled lineup by the looks of it but it's is there the potential for a lot of change at the end of this year I think there's a lot of potential end of uh, end of 24 Four, that's and what I, I mean, think yeah. Uh, yeah I understood you <laughs> right, you know uh, uh, you just wanted to eat, oh, no, you know, no, no. so you're focusing on eating, so, yeah. No, uh, there, there, there is a lot of, uh, uh, I think there will be a lot of change of end of 24, and a lot of potential. We always say there is no new drivers coming. Of end of 24, 25, I think there's a big opportunity for young drivers to come in. Mm. Because some of them, the drivers which are there now, or will be there end of 24, maybe stop doing it. Some of them will have not performed, nobody will pick them up. Some, you, you say, I, I see better opportunity in taking a risk with a young driver than keeping somebody who didn't perform. So I think there's quite a few young guys out there, and we, we complain since a few years, oh, it's very difficult for rookies. I mean, if they do good now and show good, uh, I think there is good potential to come in. And also after, we had it in 23 when uh, uh, Oscar Piastri came in, before yeah. everybody was scared about rookies, he came in and was good straight away, you know. So people, we now see these things and uh, see, OK, it worked with Piastri. Why would it not work with somebody else? You have some history there now. So it could be that in, in 25, while no changes are in 24, in 25, all of a sudden we have got three, four, five new guys. Wow, yeah. that's interesting. Exactly, yeah. yeah, but I think that's what will happen. Yeah. Well, talking about maybe one of the elder statesmen, Lewis Hamilton, a bit like you, someone who speaks out, you know, which I think is good for the sport. Max Verstappen's another one. He's turning 39 going into to the new season. Um, two years without a win. What, what, what do you, would you hope he, he continues, can be competitive again? Is it, is, it, is it good for the series as a whole that someone challenges Max? I mean, it, it, that, that's been the big downside, I guess, last year. Competitive racing below top spot, but, but not very competitive at the top. Uh, I think somebody will challenge uh, Red Bull Max next year, I would say. You know, I think that we will have that one in, in, in 24. Uh, for me, Lewis, I, I don't think he will stop. I mean, he is physically, is, I mean, you would never think he's uh, uh, 38 or next year 39. You would never think he's, he, he's very uh, fit, everything. And I don't think he's ready to, to stop doing it because I, I think he likes what he does. He won seven championships, you know, so. Uh, in the end, I still, he's still motivated, and I think, as you said, he's good for the sport. I mean, Lewis is very good for the sport, you know, he's, uh, he's doing a lot of things. He has, uh, he's a statesman for the sport, so, yeah. but uh, I don't know who will be challenging Red Bull next year, but I think there will be somebody. Okay, fair enough. Who succeeds Max as champion, whether it's next year or another year? 
uh, I hope uh, 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 Charles, because that means they've got a good package, and then <laughs> we've got a good package. Well. Have yeah, a little yeah. bit uh, okay. uh, self-centered. Well, listen, uh, gifts time. I want to give, <laughs> give you this. I got one for you as well. Okay, you lovely. Know, yeah, 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 yeah. You Thank can you. open we, 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 yeah. we exchange gifts okay, here. Good. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Merry Christmas. Yeah. yeah, it's a mug. It's not a mug, no. no. Oh. This is a whiskey glass. <laughs> no, <laughs> my one was too no. obvious, huh? Yeah, my one was too it's obvious. It's the best seller. <laughs> the perfect Christmas gift. It's a swear. Yeah. I didn't swear much, you know. Yeah. Uh, so it's a swear box. No. <laughs> yes. So I didn't swear a lot, no. you know. So well, I hope you swear I, even I hope less. You swear I hope, so you I can fill it as well with money. I hope you, know? you don't need yeah. about this. <laughs> does this show the the gentler, vulnerable side to good to Steiner? Does it? I wouldn't say it, uh, uh, no, uh, no, no. Uh, 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 I would say it, it is just written, you know, that people yeah. can read a little bit about uh, interesting stories in F1. Yeah, and, and there is the, the comedy series coming up next year. I mean, I, 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 how is that going to work? Or what's I don't know yet, you know, because yeah. it, it's obviously I had talks with CBS, but uh, I will be executive producer, but it's not. Gene Haas yet. is okay with all of this. Uh, why not? I mean, yeah. you know. I mean, no, I mean, it I has mean, put yeah, the team exactly, in it, yeah, exactly. and it has injected enormous amounts into this. Yeah. I mean, you should be on a percentage of the gross <laughs> revenue of F1 for what you've done, but I mean, in. Is, is it a balance for you, Gunter? To, to, to yeah, it is a balance, and you always have to be careful what you do and what you don't do. That it takes yeah. doesn't take uh, uh, too much time. The writing the book didn't take uh, yeah. uh, 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 a lot of time. I wrote it with a very good guy, you know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I, that one of the things in the beginning was I don't have a lot of time to spend up it, and I didn't, you know. He was to his work, and I always tried to to do it while I was doing something else. So he came to a few races, uh, 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 and, and we did that there. Uh, while we were going to the racetrack and telling some stories, you know, so yeah. it was very, trying to be very efficient. And uh, if there is a, a comedy uh, uh, with C CBS, I, I will not be performing in it, you know, yeah. so I will not be present. Okay, listen. Just finally, so with Christmas wishes from a Haas perspective for 2024, what, what are they? What are Success. Yeah. Being back in the midfield. <laughs> that is my Christmas uh, uh, wish, you know. Let's hope it's uh, a great Christmas for Haas, Gunther, and. Uh, a really prosperous 2024 as well. Yeah, Merry Christmas to everybody. You know, Happy New Year. And uh, looking forward to have you back next year. All the best. We'll bring the snow down. Yeah. Again as well. <laughs> and we can go skiing. Happy, happy Christmas, everybody. <laughs>